most organizers, I think, start with, I know how to do it. I'll just go in and fix it. And it takes a couple client sessions before we realize, oh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe there's more to this. Well, you know, I, I was kind of that just, you know, just run for it and just go. And I didn't mm -hmm. feel that I came to the point that I was like, oh, well, I maybe I need more info or whatever. But just for myself and for mm -hmm. my own uh, gratification, I realized, OK, this is not just something I'm doing. This is going to be my career. So right. I need to have education and get as education as educated as I can on different things. So then I looked into, you know, taking classes and all the things that NAPO offers and then becoming a, a CPO. Yeah, that's a really good point because there are so many different approaches. And I think especially in the, in the time that, that we've been in business, just the knowledge of how our brains work and the psychology of it all has changed dramatically from when um, some of our colleagues started like in the 80s and, and early 90s. Our understanding is just kind of exponentially different on how it all works. Um, I love that. Um, do you find that clients actually look at your certified professional organizer status when they're making a decision to hire you? I'm just kind of wondering. So everyone, uh, Robin's actually in LA. And so it's a much bigger market, a lot more organizers. And so there's a lot more options than in my market where it's not as much of a concern, but to me personally. So do you find that clients actually know about it and are interested in it? You know, it's hard to say because it's not, I don't know what they're searching. And when they're right. looking at the NAPO website, are they looking for CPOs? So it's mm -hmm. hard to say. I only know if they directly ask me or mention something about it, which honestly, more times than not, they don't. But right. that doesn't mean that it's not important to them because yeah. it's something that I can say that I am, you know, that distinguishes me from other people. For mm -hmm. myself, you know, I feel that it legitimizes me more because this is my career. It's not just a side hustle. It's not just a job. It's not just for me to make some extra money. This is right. what I do for a living and have for 14 years. So anything that I can do to enhance how I feel about it for myself, you know, I look at it as an investment in my business and in myself. And if you're going to be serious about anything, I think that's what you need to do. So for me, it was very important. For others, maybe not so much. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of in the same camp as you that I am fascinated by learning in the first place and being better all the time myself. But rarely does it come up with clients unless they've called around and talked to several people. And then they realize how much more I'm bringing to the table just in the way I speak about it. Um, and so... If you're looking for an organizer, know that you're going to need to call around and look at different people's um, options and pick someone that is a good match for you and your situation, not it's very based much on price. personalities because it's a one on one yeah. process for most part. You know, and you don't want to. It's it shouldn't just be based on, well, what's your hourly rate or how much do you charge? Yeah, because, because you know, the old adage, you get what you pay for is very true because you'll always find somebody that is cheap because they've just started and they may not have the experience and and wherewithal to know how to handle your situation. 